Dear parishioners, uh, welcome to this little reflection. The theme of it will be signs. It's a week before Christmas. I'm a bit wrapped up because I've got I've been in bed for about uh, about a week now. The theme this weekend, Sunday coming up, the 18th of December, one week before Christmas, is signs. We we want signs, you know. People often say, does God really exist? Give me a sign. We're looking for signs, big and little, as today's first reading from Isaiah, when the Lord is speaking through the prophet to Ahaz and says, ask for a sign, big as uh, heavens or, or down below to Sheol, big signs, little signs, and Ahaz is not too sure what to do with that. We want signs. Well, I got a pretty evident sign after Sunday Mass, 12 o'clock, when I almost fainted three times during the Mass. That was a sign that was probably time for me to go to bed, which I did. As soon as Mass was over, I went straight in my car, went home, went to bed. That was a sign, but not so subtle. My body was saying, ça suffit. Signs. Today's Gospel is a wonderful story about Joseph getting a sign as well. But the signs that God's, God gives are usually subtle. Not, not a big, huge, uh, overwhelming signs. Usually God speaks in very subtle ways, deep within this human spirit. Joseph is tossing and turning in bed. He's just discovered his fiancée, with whom he's not living. In those days, they didn't live together without being married, which is sort of the normal way, of course. Um, but he discovers that she's pregnant. And in conversation with her, he, she said, she, she tells him that uh, she's pregnant not by another man, but by uh, the Holy Spirit. Now, Joseph, being a very gentle, prayerful man, but also not an idiot, was very disturbed by this and said, well, I, I have great faith, but I have trouble believing that this was an angel that just gave my wife, uh, more my fiance, this pregnancy. And so he's quite troubled about it and thought that she'd been unfaithful, which is completely normal. And uh, so he's trying to figure a way out of it so as not to protect her as best he could. And so we hear about this wonderful story that as he's tossing and turning, he suddenly has a sign. An angel appears to him, just like an angel appeared to Mary when she became pregnant. So an angel appeared to him and said to him, do not be afraid because what she's telling you is actually the truth. Well, Joseph was not a man of many words. He heard the story, he heard the angel. The next morning he got up and he betrothed her and took her as his wife. No, no questions asked. The question is, well, what exactly was, was that like, you know, to see an angel appearing? Did the angel have big wings and make a lot of noise? Did it give him a script and say, hey, look, uh, he's written in, in, in the language of God uh, that she's okay? I'm not so sure that that's how it all happened. Can't be sure. But usually when God speaks to us, it's in very gentle, subtle, and very profound ways. When God speaks to you in your heart, it's usually a gentle movement of your spirit. I know this is true. A gentle movement within your heart. Yes, I think this is the right direction to take. There's never usually any road sign. Uh, there's never a book or a or written arrow on the ground. You do when God says, this is the person you should be marrying. Uh, this is the job you should be taking right now. This is the studies you might undertake now. God speaks in very subtle ways within our spirit because God is a, is a humble Lord who speaks to our spirits and, and wants to, to move us but without coercing us. And so this scripture reminds us that God will speak to you in your daily life, every day, in ways that are very gentle and for you to hear, you need to be quiet, listening attentively. But if our hearts are attentive, if our hearts are listening deeply, if our spirits are open to hearing truth, then we know what God wants. God speaks in gentle ways. He comes to us in a most humble and gentle way at Christmas time in sending his son in a way that didn't overwhelm anybody. In an unknown village, 
an unknown town in a manger. The Son of God was born. Nobody knew. The TV wasn't there. Nobody was filming it on, on iPad. Nobody was fil filming it on Facebook. He was just born there quietly. Few shepherds saw him. But church, but history had changed dramatically because of God's presence. So as you approach Christmas, God will send you Christmas signs, Christmas presents to you, to your spirit. You need to be attentive. You need to be listening. At the heart of his message is God's message is always be hopeful. I am with you. Do not be afraid. All will be well. So have a great Christmas, everyone. Signs from God. Not big and huge, uh, momentous signs. Usually the signs from God are very simple and gentle because God is a gentle being. So have a great week as you prepare for Christmas. God love you. Bye-bye.